The new interview with Sparking Zero producer reveals that all the player uh, playable characters, sorry, will be officially uh, announced before the game is out. Full article here also be linked in the description below. Well, we're just going to obviously read this, the most important section of what's going on. I'm not repeating myself. I'm weak. And I don't think you should. But now you're going to get that boss out, man. All right. But yeah, so there are still are some unrevealed characters for the game. Is there anything you could say about that? We still have many characters to reveal. I also want to address some misinformation regarding the Red Ribbon and Tau Pai Pai characters that was shared in an interview by someone not connected to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and without qualified information about the game. So, first of all, what I wanted to, like, kind of, I guess, piggyback on is pe what people are talking about here uh, is that one, I actually go back. In one of my short. It's this one right here. I made a. You can cross over in different realms. You can have people from Dragon Ball fight people from Dragon Ball Super. You know, Jiren can fight Tao Pai Pai. You know, you can have anyone from the Red Ribbon Army fight against you know, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to say Jiren again, but Vegeta. You know. Any so this is this is what me and everybody else was kind of freaking out about. Um, more so, we're gonna go through the whole interview, but we were freaking out about it because. People, we want to see GT. We want to see OG. We want to see these characters in the game. My my sentiments on the whole thing is this. I think that one, we're going to... Jeez, Alicia. <laughs> my sentiment on this is one. We're going to get... We're going to get GT. We're going to get OG. It's just going to be DLC. I think we have to remember that this day and age, games have to last. And games like this, especially fighting games, they have to last. So like tech and all of them, they're saving things for later because they, they have to make the game last. If Street Fighter dropped Terry in the first year of Street Fighter, what else, by the time they get to here, what, they would have nothing, you know? So, so with that being said, they have to have things. And OG is a good way to, OG is OG now, meaning it's older than like two iterations of Dragon Ball now, Super and Z. So meaning that that and GT with its being, it's especially with its controversial, like, debut and then it being you know accepted and everything but still being that kind of that 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 uh fanboy of the franchise these two are good selling points and then you have daima and then you have uh, a superhero and then you have other whatever movies that you put in between that's a good that's like a good four dlcs that you could stretch for about i would say two years i would say two years I, that'll that'll keep you good for a good two years two two dlc four dlcs for two years maybe if we're lucky, because Bandai is crazy. And then even with that, you don't even have to do all the characters in one. You could do separate characters. Y'all get my drift. Basically, what I'm saying here is we... That's my sentiment on it. I don't think that they're going to put it in base game. With them saying this, though, our focus has been on revealing characters with our fans in mind. Featuring them in assets such as trailers, screenshots, even through hands-on gameplay and hopefully surprising and exciting them with how their favorites appear play, appear and play in the game. Part of the thrill of working on this title has been having an incredible roster and knowing how eager every fan is to see who they can play. We can promise one thing. We can promise one thing. Fans will know every playable character at launch before the game comes out. Please stay tuned for our official announcement to come. So, meaning Every time, every character that they are going to have in the roster that's going to fill up is going to be the game. There's not going to be any extra characters after. There's not going to be extra rosters or anything, any secret characters or anything like that. Just going to be the base roster that, that what we see is what we're going to get. We just have to unlock them, obviously, in the story. <clears throat> um, I, I think for me, what it is about this is that it's not really a problem because... At least we get to see what was gonna what is gonna be in the game, and I don't think it sells out hope for GT and OG. The reason why is because you can still add a couple characters. Um, no hidden fighters cap. I mean, there might be. I really don't feel like it's. I don't think there's like not. There's not. It's, I don't know. There might, there might be one way to unlock one, like a couple characters. Like maybe Omega Shenron isn't like making Omega Shenron, or maybe like. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they would 
not put extra characters in the game we will see we'll have to dig and see with that being said i i wanted to emphasize that if they're trying to say that hey we're not going to we're not going to short sell you we're not going to surprise you or anything this is what we have in the game and the roster i think it's safe to say that they might throw in a couple characters like I don't think it's far-fetched to think that we could still get Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. We could get, um, I don't know about King Goku. I really don't. He He's plausible, but I don't know. Um, I just don't think it's going to go as deep as to go into, like, Tao Popeye or Red Ribbon Army. I don't think it's going to go that deep for, uh, for, uh, for, for OG especially. Um, but, like, I'm trying to think of, like, between OG and GT. But like, yeah, that's what I said. For GT, maybe OG, you might be, get K Goku, Trunks, and Pan. Like how they did in Xenoverse. Like you might get just those three. And then you might get um, Vegeta, Gogeta, and Vegeta. Vegeta, Gogeta, and Goku uh, Super Saiyan 4 um, as a package. And then maybe uh, extra, I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 hard to tell. And, and I'm, I'm kind of mixing up the, the, uh, the, the two. Because the color Goku is small in both of them. But, like, what I mean is, like, again, it's not going to be, like, in-depth with the Reverend Army or anything like that. You could, you might get Kid Goku. You might get the guy, um, um, what's his name? Tambourine. You might get a version of Piccolo that's older. You might. Because I think we see, I think we've seen a couple of them already. So, I don't know. We'll see. But what this is, what what is what this is stirring up is that people are are not kind of like they're losing hope that OG, especially OG, or even GT is gonna make it in the game base game. I think that is the key thing here because a lot of people are like, oh, they're gonna be in the game, but it's gonna be DLC. It's okay. Like, but a lot of people are emphasizing, no, we want it to be in the base game so that we don't have to pay for DLC. And I gotta tell you, it's it's still it's gonna happen because they're like the two tail ends of Dragon Ball. You have for me, how I look at it is like OG, that's like the like the cutoff point now. It's like, okay, now it's like how something gets vintage and you got to pay for it, pay extra for it. Kind of how OG is. It's like at, we're at the time now, it's like, okay, well, these characters are cherishable. We want to, you know, I guess make a little bit more money off of them. Then you have GT, which is like a tail end, which was not widely accepted as, at first, but now it's like kind of accepted now. People love the characters and all that good stuff. But it's still kind of like that. I want to say that proud boy of the franchise and then it's like dbz then super they kind of slapped super in the middle i ain't gonna lie they kind of made us they kind of made us fit super in everything because like it was like really og dbz and then gt but then it was like well uh we don't you know it's not a carry to yamas thing and you know whatever it is too much going on with that it's gonna take this and make super and whatever so i feel like yeah, I don't know. I just feel like, first of all, the misinformation at first was not... I, I don't think it was misinformation. I think the guy was just a, a marketer and a promoter. And he just went with what he thought. And I, he was kind of mumbling over his words, too. So, who knows what he was really trying to say. Um, with that being said, the interview itself comes with a lot. Um, just to skim through it, we're seeing a lot of excitement on the game since uh, it's announcement and being too close to release now. How do you feel? Uh, it's truly exhilarating to witness the overwhelming enthusiasm from our fans since the announcement. Blah blah. blah. There's, there's time and positive for you. We're incredibly motivating. Reverb. Blah, blah blah. What kind of experience do you up appears? Yeah, it's kind of the same immersive. Yeah, kind of same stuff we've been hearing. Any details of the game that you want to highlight? Changes. Uh, the throwing move Goku performs on Boo is different from the one he uses on other characters. So okay, different throwing moves. We saw. Uh, uh, what is it? Nichikage. Uh, do that. He covered that. That was perfect. Tale. Uh, different animation is triggered. Do you have any advice on how the players should compose their term teams of characters? Absolutely. When it comes to composing your team, uh, there are a few things, strategies you want to enhance. First and foremost, good team balance is key. Characters who are too strong, who are strong in the original work, are also strong in the game. All right. Again, they're, they're kind of reiterating everything. That's the that's the interview question. I think I should to say uh, to all the amazing equally. Uh, I want to extend my heartfelt grat gratitude for your unwavering support and enthusiasm. Your excitement has been a driving force for our team throughout the d development process. We are incred incredibly grateful for your pa 
sorry, patience and passion. With the release approaching, you will finally get an understanding of the entire roster of characters. This is something we know many of you have been eagerly, eagerly anticipating. We can't wait to share this with you. Each character has been uh, meticulously crafted to ensure they bring their unique flair and abilities to the game. Stay true to the essence of Dragon Ball. So, yeah. I don't know. I, it, it's, it's, for me, it's a solid 30% and 70%. 70, they're not going to be base. 30%, they will. There's a chance they could. I, I, there's a slim chance they throw us a trailer or two or three trailers before launch and they, they say, hey, this is OG GT. But that trailer is going to be very daunting, haunting or whatever because at the end, if it says like coming as DLC or coming soon, like they could do that. Think about that. Think about that. They would literally, I, and, I, and I see Bandai doing it, drop a trailer on us and then at the, at the end, coming soon after Sparky Zero dropped or coming soon at, uh, next year or next winter, like dropping a trailer. Like, I don't know. I can see them catching us like that. I don't know. I, I know it sounds very mischievous, but I don't know. I see it. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This was the uh, YouTube video for today. Uh, let me go know what you guys think of the interviewer uh, questions and everything like that and what you think about OG and GT. Do you think it will be base game? Or do you think it'll be DLC? Or do you think it'll not be the game at all? Which, that would be stupid. But if you think that, let me know. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. and get on some more Dragon Ball Sparky Zero content. Peace.